elasticity if you know what elasticity is or not so we say it says that an analyst estimated the following demand function for electric vehicles itself so qe is equal to 0.75 minus 1.5 pe plus 2.5 pf minus 0.5 pb plus 3.2 i let us go ahead and find what will be del q e by del p e if you differentiate this with respect to p e you will just get minus 1.5 del q e by del p f you will get 2.5 del q e by del p b you will get minus 0.5 del q e by del i you will get 3.5 just by looking at this just by looking at this you should be able to give the properties of this function the properties of this good so the good that i am talking about here is the electric vehicle this elasticity is negative matlab for sure it is not a given good it has to be a normal good its price elasticity is negative so we understand that it is a normal good it's not a given good then i see that this price elasticity is coming positive so when price of one commodity not elasticity just differentiate when price of one commodity ye f kya hai this is the average unit price of vehicle using fossil fuel so when this increases the demand of this increases just think about this when price of tea increases the demand of coffee increases what are these goods they are substitute goods that means e and f are substitute goods then come to the next one this is a negative sign so when pb increases qe decreases again let's think about this when price of ink increases demand for ink decreases ink is used in pen so demand of pen also decreases so the relationship between this and this is coming negative when they are complementary goods that means here if the cross price elasticity or cross price effect is negative they must be complementary goods so i've got that e and b are complementary goods what is b b is the unit price of battery of course battery and electric vehicles have to be complementary to each other and finally we see that this is also positive which means it is normal and not inferior good because as my income is increasing demand is increasing so if they would have asked somewhere in the options about these properties we should be well thorough with how the sign can enable us to estimate the properties of different kind of goods now let's go to the next part so they are saying that they have given us the values what are the values given to us pe is 6.5 you put 6.5 here pf is 4.5 you put 4.5 here pb is 0.5 you put 0.5 here i is 10 lakh you put 10 here so what will come out to be your qe 
after you put down these values, let's do that. 0 0.75 minus 1.5 into 6.5. Do it with me. Plus 2.5 into 4.5 minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 plus 3.2 into 10. This gave me 34. So we have got the value of the demand for QE. But now they're asking us, find income elasticity and cross price elasticity. So let's do that. First of all, what will be income elasticity? Income elasticity will be how E changes as I changes into initial value of I by initial value of E. So how E changes as I changes is given to you as 3.2. This is what we found out. Initial value of income is given to us as 10. And initial value of E is what we have found out as 34. So if we solve this, we will get the answer as 0 0.941. Very simple. Now do the next part. They're asking cross price elasticity with respect to PF, money this one. So let's do that. So elasticity with respect to F is going to be how E changes as price of F changes into F by so this is what I've got as one uh, 2.5. So I'm going to put 2.5 here. And PF is given to us as 4.5. And E I just found out as 34. So if you solve this, you will get 0 0.3308. All of you have to solve it. Dekh kar nahi you will never understand. You have to try. Don't look at solutions in the first place. I request you when you come for the next class, try it yourself first and then come. This is a rechecking class in a way. Right? So I have got my answer as 0 0.94 and 0 0.33. That's the answer to these questions.